This is the story of Tales for Wales. It's about how an idea that started in Australia became a global campaign to protect whales around the world. It began as a petition. Our client, the International Fund for Animal Welfare, wanted the Australian government to take a stronger stand against whaling. They'd run petitions before, but they were basic at best. We looked at them and thought, there's got to be a better way. So that's what we set out to do, build a better petition. We started our petition by creating this symbol. It's a whale tail, and anyone with two hands can do it. Next, we called on a few photographers, a dozen in all, to hit the street and ask people to make whale tails. People thought that was odd, but they did it all the same. And soon we had a few hundred photos, including some celebrities to give the campaign that star appeal. We used the photos to start a Flickr group and make some posters, which we sent to blogs. Then we made a simple TV ad. posted the TV ad to Vimeo and YouTube, who featured it in their Agent Change hot list. Finally, we set up a Facebook group where we posted the YouTube clip, a few of the photos, and started making friends. With the posters and video out promoting the cause, blogs started to pick up on the project. Some showed a poster, others linked to the YouTube ad. Many blogs like these ones featured the whole campaign. These three alone represent a monthly readership of over 10 million people. Blogs took interest from all over the world, including China, India, Malaysia, Brazil, Spain, Romania, Russia, Canada, USA, South Korea, and yes, even Japan. People started using words like crowdsourcing to describe the campaign. Cloud tags highlighted activism, marketing, and cool. That made us happy. Last we counted, the blogs numbered well over 200. There was news media too. We got a mention in the key papers, as well as Sunday Life magazine. Then, after seeing the TV ad online, National Geographic Channel offered to run it for free as a community service announcement, at which point our online campaign went broadcast. As more people sent in their photos, the photos became more creative. Some took on the project in a big way. One teacher photographed her entire class. Another school photographed their whole swimming carnival. A film festival recreated our TV ad with local people's faces in it, while this surf club took photos of everyone at their monthly competition. Impressed by our success in Australia, I4's global CEO Fred O'Regan got involved. Before we knew it, we were rolling the campaign out into the USA and UK, at which point we launched the global website, talesforwales.org, and started attracting better-known celebrities from all over the world. In the UK, I4 collected photos of every member of British Parliament. In the USA, two fashion labels decided to take up the cause by doing whale tales on the runway of New York Fashion Week. We didn't even know about it until it was reported on Treehugger, one of the world's number one environmental websites. Meanwhile, back in Australia, we took the photos and put them into a whale-sized book to give to our Prime Minister, Kevin Rudd, as a petition from the Australian people to stop whaling. And guess what? We did all this while only ever running two ads in paid media. And even those were given to us for free. All of which shows you don't have to be big to be global. You just need an interesting idea.